organizing a swim bag getting warmer and soon we're going to be jumping in the pool or going to our community pools. So I'm going to talk today about what you should pack in a swim bag and what kind of swim bag you should look for. Well, I'm Lorraine Brock with Get Organized. I'm a professional organizer and owner of a company called Get Organized, where we come into your home and get you totally organized, including garage areas. And often, in garage areas, you will find different zones for things you do outside. Not only like kids sporting or gardening, lawn tools, but also your swim stuff. Especially if you have a community pool, if you're like me. So I'm going to give you a little tip on what we do to stay organized with our swim bag. And I've pulled out all the contents so you can see what I have inside of it. I don't make it complicated. I don't take a complete wagon full of stuff to the pool. If we are going, most of the things are in a bag and anything else like towels or floaty devices we just hand carry because obviously those things can't always fit in a bag for a family. So I'm going to show you my swim bag here and I've taken out everything and I'm going to show you um, how we use the swim bag and put things inside of it so here you'll see let's let's start first with the actual swim bag it's the swim bag here is really important to get something that is a mesh it's actually uh, when water gets in it it's going to be able to go right through it and dry rather quickly uh, you'll see these at target walmart amazon uh, you want to look for something that has a wide bottom I would say at least probably 10 inches wide in the bottom of it. And again, some kind of heavy duty mesh. This, this one has lasted us probably f at least five years and uh, just using it um, limited just during the summer. And it's not something we take to the beach, uh, though we could. This, <clears throat> excuse me, this just stays in our garage area. And then when we head to our community pool, this is what the bag bag looks like. So inside my bag, uh, we have different things. Now, we have some toys. Obviously, I want to keep those things that are smaller in that bag. I'm not going to keep bulky items. Like I said, if I mention, uh, you know, floaties or anything, these are like water gun type things. I love to play um, water guns in the pool. We play a lot of catch, a lot of dive stuff, really good. Now, during the summer months, these swim shoes really stay pretty wet because we go, some of my family, because we are walking from our garage uh, to the local community pool here in our neighborhood. Sometimes, some of us like to wear flip-flops. Some of us like to wear swim shoes. Um, I, you can get the real inexpensive kind or you can go on Amazon and get the nicer kind and they will last multiple summers. Uh, so I have really learned to go ahead and spend the better money for the swim shoes and I actually will, I will save over time. So during the winter months, these things stay in our swim bag. They don't stay on a shelf to collect dust over the winter. Uh, once we get the swim bag out, these will come out of the swim bag and they'll stay on a shelf drying. So again, these are not in the swim bag during the season, but off season they are. Then I have these other nets. And again, when you're buying things for things that have holes in them, some kind of mesh or net, be for guests as well as ourselves. Um, and then we have the sunscreen. Same thing again here, all different kinds of sunscreen in here. And then we obviously uh, just put different kinds. And these are really good. Again, those men, uh, really good to keep your sunscreen in is these kinds of bags. The other thing is too, is often community pools will have a key, some key mechanism or card you if your pool does, sometimes my boys don't or my kids never took these types of things. They never took the swim bag with them and they would just run over there with a towel and this and they wanted to do a little bit of swimming. This allows the card to be swiped uh, inside of this, again, a mesh bag, right? 
wet it's going to dry really quickly and this just gets to he held up to the little here uh, and it opens the gate for where um we the great thing about this is that the card is not in the bottom of the bag we don't have to worry about digging for it we can see bright green pouch very visible to us and again they can have this and if you this on a hook inside of the garage or wherever you're exiting out of to go to the pool that works great we normally just keep ours inside the bag again very, very then we're going to be talking about some goggles now this is a really big issue with us because over the years the kids would use the goggles and what would happen is they would throw them back in the swim bag and when they threw the goggles back in the swim bag the goggles around the edges would end up getting and then they, when they went to go wear the goggles, they ended up getting water in the goggles. So you can see here, these are goggles we've had for different years. We're still using them. And this part right here would get, you know, they'd get bent in the bag like that or, you know, really keep the water out of their eyes. So we came up with a solution and you can do this with any type of hook. It doesn't have to be the hook that I'm gonna show you. But this actually, this metal hook right here actually fits on one of these wire shelves right here and so you can see one just hanging right there and this allows the bag to be hung here or it can allow the goggles to be hung there let me show you this allows them again not to be pinched or uh, not to be pinched or in have they just hang there on that hook that you can put over here on your shelf so these are really great. You can buy these particular hooks. This is actually presses down a little bit more. I'm not gonna do the effort right now. But you can actually buy these hooks at Target. They come in a package. This is a grill type tool here. And this can also too hang on here. Now I wouldn't recommend hanging these both at the same time, but I'm just letting you know that it's a sturdy, sturdy hook that will allow you to hang a lot of stuff on it and swim goggles are one of the things that we actually use and it keeps them dry and you know, doesn't allow them to be so smushed. So that's our swim bag. Very, very simple. Um, I would definitely have towels next to the swim bag or close by. Uh, we actually have ours right inside the doorway and a little shelf that we pull out. That way they don't stay dirty in the garage or dusty. So that's a little bit of a um, idea of what you can keep in your swim bag for the summer and make sure that you guys are ready for the pool. So I want to mention what we're giving away this month of May. I will announce the winner the first Tip Tuesday in June. So just so you know, every month we give away something, some kind of organizing tool. And this month we're giving away this hat organizer. It actually mounts and secures itself to the wall, maybe behind a door or some excess wall space in a master closet or a second closet. Great, great tool from Amazon for a hat organizer. You can also put purses, you know, uh, bags on this as well. You can even hang a swim bag on this if you wanted to put it out in your garage and uh, very, very sturdy. So we're gonna give that away. And how you could win it is leave a comment down below or you can share this Tip Tuesday or any of our Tip Tuesdays, you can make a comment or share for the month of May and you'll be entered into the drawing and we will announce the winner on Tip Tuesday, the first Tuesday in June. So hopefully I've helped you get your swim bag ready to go and to save all that extra cost from having to buy goggles over and over again when they get smushed and dented and you'll be able to save these and use these year after year. Well, I am Lorraine Brock with Get Organized, helping you get your home business and life organized here on Tip Tuesday each week. So I will see you next week on Tip Tuesday. Bye guys.